The Dayton Area Broadcasters Hall of Fame is pleased to honor her with our Lifetime Achievement Award as part of the 2011 class. This award tonight has been a lightning rod in this community and the broadcast community for many years. And of course, that is why I'm so proud tonight to recognize Ms. Allison Lucas. Alice Lucas has always been an experienced and energetic leader. In 1965, she was selected by Wavy Radio to program and announce the Day of Home Show. This program was designed for women who had full responsibility of their household as a single parent. As a radio personality at WDAO, she organized several fundraisers for the community to aid less fortunate young adults. One was a high school student who broke the record of track star Jesse Owens. The student became eligible to attend the Olympics. She was successful in moving a family to a new climate for a child who was threatened by asthma. She assisted several area churches in raising large sums of money for their building funds and other needs. Joe Whalen, Vice President and General Manager of WDAO once said, Alice is always helping someone. I can't recall all she has contributed to the community. She's quite a wonderful person. When I think about Alice, I think about two words. Two words come to mind. One is leadership, the other is groundbreaking. Leadership, Alice was one of the few black females back in the 60s that stood up, and 70s, that stood up for minorities during the Civil Rights Movement. Groundbreaking, Alice was the first black female to work at WDAO-FM. I could always go to Alice and ask questions as a young broadcaster and get some background and information as I was trying to grow. When I think about Alice, I think of a woman with uh, a big smile and a glow in her eyes. Alice, you are well deserving of the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Dayton Area Broadcasters Hall of Fame. During the 1966 riots, she took the airwaves to quiet the unrest in West Dayton, and later rode through the area to encourage those to refrain from further activity. In 1967, Alice was one of four coordinators for Dayton Board of Education, who chartered the volunteers in public schools. This became a federally funded program known as Tutoro Program. Also in 1967, Ohio State Congressman Charles W. Whalen Jr. inaugurated Alice as Deputy Congresswoman because of her volunteerism. WDAO came on the air in the mid-1960s, 1964 to be exact. Later that year, the decisions was trying to come about how do we pull a great staff together? And at that time, there was a person that many of the staff members had their eyes on, especially the leadership, and that person was Alice Lucas. Alice Lucas joined the staff at WDAO, and from the mid-1960s until around 1972 or three, it was Alice Lucas heavily involved in our community. Promotions to raise money to help and get the information out pertaining to sickle cell and the other kinds of things that the station found it was important to get the information out about. Alice Lucas was right there getting it done. Alice Lucas helped us to understand that giving was as much a part of life as receiving. She gave then, not just because of the WDAO audience, but because she cared about this community. Alice Lucas, thank you for all that you've given and thank you for making Dayton a better place to live. In 1969, Alice initiated a program for WONE Radio called Understanding Through Education. She produced, directed, and announced the Sunday morning program. This program was one of the many efforts in helping to establish community race relations. Passionate about the welfare of children, in 1970, she served on the Montgomery County Children's Services Board, which lasted for 22 years. As a staff member of the Dayton Human Relations Council and a member of Human Resources of Frigidaire Division, Truck and Bus Company of General Motors, she affirmed equal opportunity for all employees. In 1974, she received the first place aerial citation, award for excellence, from General Motors Corporation for outstanding service to the community. Alice Lucas has been an outstanding broadcaster and community servant. The Dayton Area Broadcasters Hall of Fame is pleased to honor her with our Lifetime Achievement Award as part of the 2011 class.
Good evening. I am gratefully honored for this award. I truly am. I didn't think I had done enough for this community. I've only been here 68 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I really want to thank the Dave Mary Broadcasters Hall of Fame for digging up all this information about me. You know, I'm a very shy person. <laughs> and uh, like Judge Bryce, I uh, say a few words. <laughs> Those who know Judge Bryce. <laughs> but please allow me, if you will, to thank the Honorable Judge Walter Herbert Rice for standing next to my husband, who is now deceased, Leo, who was elected to the Dayton Board of Education for 23 years. And as you know, we went through the segregation of the schools, and Judge Rice never faltered in the support for us to do that because he believes in education. <laughs>
And uh, my daughter says, you always give history when you give a speech. There was a big sign when you crossed this came to a It said, whites only, no color, no Jews. And all of the servants came from the Bahamas and uh, they stayed in a, a, in a community called Liberty City where all the blacks lived in Miami, and this is history. And he would go to Miami Beach with the servants. And of course he learned all about wines, healthy food, fish, and everything. So segregation helped in some way <laughs> in my family because he was a nutritionist. But thanks to all of you, thanks to all of you for coming to help all of us, all these beautiful people, celebrate this, this evening. Thank you for coming.